Hey guys, it's me, and today I am here with a very exciting video. I am getting my hair situated today. I'm getting it situated cut-wise, not length or color-wise, but cut. This video technically is part of my Growing Out My Deadlock series, um, because it's just like a document of the process of just how much my hair has grown since the process of me growing it out about almost a year and a half now. I think we are on month 15? 16? We're on month 16 right now. Oh wow, okay. So we're on month 16 of me growing out my hawk and I mentioned in the very beginning that my original goal was to be able to get my side cuts back and I feel as if I'm at a point where now I am able to do so. So yeah, and sorry if I'm looking off to the side. I'm in my bathroom right now. There's big ass mirror in front of me. I know this video is a little bit clickbaity because I say like I'm shaving off all my hair but I'm only gonna be shaving off the sides like from like the back of the ears and forward but I mean I'm still gonna be shaving my hair off and showing you guys the process so what you gonna do about it bitch. I'm actually gonna be playing around with the cut a little bit. I'm gonna be testing out my different things over on this side because it's a lot easier for me to cut this side because I'm right handed um and then like figure out what i want to do and then replicate this over on this side because i'm wanting to test out like different shapes if that makes sense because it's just like before like i would just have it squared off which is more than likely what i'm going to wind up doing giving like a little curve in there or maybe going at like an angle or something like that I don't know. I also want to try and see if I would like having ear tails, which I doubt I will, but I at least just want to see it because I had always been curious about how I'd look with ear tails, so this would be perfect timing to do so. I'm not going to be able to like part my hair or to decide to expose the side cut anytime soon. I won't be able to do that until I get like all the length over on the sides completely evened up because it's just like, it's still uneven. Because, I mean, like, it's just, like, grown out the same length and because of, like, different, like, the same length up here is going to not reach nearly as far as the same length down here. So once those bits are completely evened up and, or at least for the most part, completely evened out, that's when I'll start putting my hair on the side. So that'll probably be about maybe, I'd say maybe about a year or six months, something like that, before I start putting my hair on the side again. But I mean, I can still probably get away with doing other hairstyles prior to that though, where I can still expose the sides and whatnot, so yeah. And then too, it'd just be nice to know that I have the sides cut and shaved. I'm gonna have to move my camera because I'm gonna need to have more space to do this. Now, could I have started the video off in this angle here? Absolutely. But did I do it? No. Do I care? Not really. All right, so I'm gonna start by sectioning off my hair. Now you can see like how things would look if I parted my hair over to the side. As you can see, like the length differences are, it's pretty intense. I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but you can really see the length difference between this bit of hair this bit of hair. Honestly, on this side, I think this part line is really good. Also, by the way, I'm also considering like getting a swoop bang back at some point because I kind of miss that look because I haven't been able to do it because my hair is so long now. It's, I don't have bangs anymore. So it's just like, I might go back to the swoop bang. Can't see. Let's see, where's the viewfinder? There we go. Maybe I can use Oh, this is even harder. How about this? <laughs> Grab a bit here. Oh, wow, that's almost perfect. So what we're gonna do now, we we'll take this bit of hair here, go at a bit of an angle. Maybe something like this could work because it'll still be like a side shave and everything, but a little bit more angled. I'm struggling so hard with this shit. I probably should just get this done as long, but it's just like, no, I don't wanna do this myself. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna come up to this point here, and then here, and then just right before the back of the ear, because I was really struggling with getting it sectioned off just from right behind it. Okay, so now let's section off the ear tail again.
I'm gonna start out by taking it down with a two guard first. Once I get all this stuff sorted out, then I'll go down shorter. So, cause before, right when I had talk, I would go down to a half guard, which half guard is equivalent to 1.5 millimeters. Two guard is six millimeters or one fourth of an inch. So yeah, which half guard says that it is 1 16th. And sometimes I would, before going with the half guard, I would also sometimes do just a one guard, which is three millimeters or one eighth of an inch. Oh, I'm excited about this. And I'm also really nervous. I haven't shaved my hair. I haven't shaved my head in so long. Let's see, I'm gonna start out with this bit here first. Because this is gonna be the easy part. I'm so nervous. <laughs> the thing that I'm worried about is that I'm gonna fuck up my hair. Shit, so there's no turning back now. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this section of hair to commemorate the fallen. Alrighty, there's another chunk. So for these bits here, I think I'm just gonna snip off just simply because I know it's gonna be difficult to get them with the clipper, so I'm just gonna cut them off with my shears. I know I should have done that before, and anyways, before like taking the clippers to like this section of hair anyways, I should have just used the scissors instead. But you know, shock factor. Oh yeah, they're not a bad look. The ear tail. Not a bad look, but I'm also not a fan of it. Okay, so it's gonna go. Okay, I just simply wanted to try it out. I knew that I wasn't gonna like it. I just wanted to like have an experience where I could try it out. And where did I put my comb? Oh, here it is. Right in front of me, just where I put it. The hair down. See how I'm like. That angle how it winds up looking when my hair is parted into the side. I'm not mad at it, but I'm not the biggest fan of it either. I am going to square this off. Like I said, I'm trying out new things because I was never able to do so prior to getting my first side cut. About almost five years ago now. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Time is going by. Like, I'm not the. I'm not mad at how it looks when it's brushed back, it's just that when it's laying down. Ugh, I'm already feeling more like myself again. Like, people don't tell me this. Haircuts make a big difference in how you view yourself. It's so weird. It's so weird having it back again. I am going to trim this shorter because I want it shorter. But I'll do that after I do this side though. So let's move on to this side now. Now this side is gonna be harder to get on camera because over on the other side. So how are we feeling? People at home who have no interest in commenting on my videos. All right, so I am now going to just go in and start doing like touch-ups. Like I said, I'm gonna take this shorter. I'm gonna take it down. To a half guard.
Now you see. Oh, now this length is the best length for me. Okay, so we're back over here, and I'm just showing you guys like, like even though I just shaved off the sides of my head, you can't notice that I have both the sides of my head shaved off. This is what I've wanted. I've been wanting to have like my sides shaved and be able to part my hair down the middle and still have fullness or to like part my hair over to the side and still have fullness because with having the hawk I am lost all the fullness that I had and I mean and even though my cut right now looks crazy which I know it's gonna be a little while before it gets evened out it's probably gonna be probably around my birthday once I finally get the cut evened out um, which isn't too, too far away from now. It's like the three months away. And on days when I'm wanting to show off the side cut, I can bring back this hairstyle that I adopted during the times of me having my death hawk. Let's go ahead and show you guys how much hair actually came off my head. Because I know, like, it doesn't seem like when you look at it and everything, it doesn't seem like that much hair was removed. But a lot of you guys might not know this, but I have very thick hair. But yeah. All of that hair came off my head today. Oh god, I'm so happy. I feel more like myself now. Oh, I love this so much. So, so much. Oh, 16 months, almost a year and a half, I am gone without having side cuts, without shaving my side cuts. Oh. Yes. Okay, so it's actually been a couple of days since I got my side cuts back, and I just wanted to show you guys how my hair looks curly and in a ponytail right now, and everything. And I just want to like give like a proper outro. I know the outro in that video was a little bit, bleh, so I want to give you guys a proper outro. So yeah, I am so freaking happy. I feel so much more like myself having like the side cuts again and just having shaved sides in general as I mean the thing that I loved about the hawk was it looked so good on me and just suited me so well like having like a head full of hair it doesn't look bad on me but I just it just doesn't suit me it doesn't suit me like this does and the fact that I just have like simple side cuts and everything I'm still gonna have fullness and it's still going to look good if I part my hair down the middle or if I part it over to the sides eventually. It's still going to look nice and full. Whereas when I had the hawk, it looked rather thin. It'll be some time before I get everything to where I'm 100% liking my hair. I'm very close to it now. I'd say I'm about maybe like 85, 90% liking my hair again. Because it's just like the side cuts make such a huge difference. Because it's just like just having these shaved sides just helps out so much like even though like my lengths are not even and I still have some pretty intense like roots going on that I'm still debating on touching up or not because something really really good might be happening soon so I need to like hold off on that for a bit. I will say this though it is so weird feeling the cold air on the side of my head though because it's still pretty chilly here in Georgia like it's struggling to get up into the 60s and it's also been kind of breezy these past few days too so yeah it's just like you definitely feel the chill in the air on your hair on your hair on your head oh wait what spring starts tomorrow oh cool anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I was who excited at the beginning of the video to do my typical intro so I'm just gonna pop it out here at the very end so thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to hit subscribe because that'll help me out a lot and also give this video a thumbs up because that too will help me out a lot all my links are down in the description box below and until I see you guys in my next video whatever the hell that may be goodbye